Good exam question walkthrough for A level chemistry. So this is organic conversions number 21. If you want to check out the other videos in the playlist, I'll put the link to that at the top of the screen now. So the question covers some reactions of alkanes, reactions of haloalkanes, and reactions of nitriles. Hope you like the video, hope you find it helpful, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd love you to do so. But as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. So first part of it, we've got to give the equation that makes this alkane here. So this is 2-bromo-2-methylpropane. So which alkane is going to react with the bromine? It's 2-methylpropane. So the full equation looks like that. Name of the mechanism is radical substitution and the type of bond fission is homolytic. And part two, we've got to give two limitations of the synthesis of this from an alkane and bromine. So the first thing you could say is substitution could be anywhere on the carbon chain. So it doesn't automatically go on carbon two. It could go on these carbons here. So they would all be classed as carbon one. You could mention that further substitutions can occur, which would lead to the production of a dibromo or a tribromo product. And the other reason you can give is the fact that multiple products are possible from those multiple termination steps at the end of the mechanism. Moving on to part B, this big organic flow chart. So we'll go this way first, bromoethane up to the amine. So to generate an amine from a haloalkane, you need to react it with an excess of ammonia in ethanol. And the amine that forms is that one there. We'll look at this reaction here, bromoethane to alcohol. So to turn a haloalkane into an alcohol, you just react it with an alkali essentially. So sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, or just hydroxide ions and the alcohol formed is going to be that one there. Now this conversion, so haloalkane to a nitrile, and to do that you just need a source of cyanide ion, so something like potassium cyanide or sodium cyanide, but it has to be in ethanol. We'll look at this reaction next, so nitrile to carboxylic acid. So to hydrolyze a nitrile you need an aqueous acid, you must specify aqueous, or you could say H plus and H2O. So the carboxylic acid formed from that reaction is going to be this one here. And finally, to go from a nitrile to an amine, we react it with hydrogen and a nickel catalyst. And the amine produced is that one there. So very well done if you got all nine marks for that. 